I am the Serpent Knight Dragon. I was a dragon created by the soul of a wicked knight. This is Killer Nacho's YouTube battles. If you do not enjoy, I will steal your soul. Also, rate, subscribe, and comment as well, or die. Continuing with uh, yesterday's question of the day, which, what are things you collect, I'm sharing um, another one of my collections with you, back when I played the yu gi -Man. And um, here's my collection of Serpent Knight Dragons, which are my all-time favorite card, even though they are probably one of the worst cards ever printed. printed. But they are a secret rare nonetheless, and I do like to collect them. Um, at the moment, I'll show you the other page and other pages, um, I have 31 Serpent Knight Dragons, and I'm always interested in um, obtaining more. So, if you really love me, give me a Serpent Knight Dragon. And anyway, here's the battle coming up. Hey everybody, it's the Killer Nacho here, and I'm having a battle with Glenn from the Cerebi chat room. And I'm using my main team here, so um, I lose Aerodactyl as he loses Gengar. Um, I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks as he goes for the Thunder, which is a powerful move to have on a Gengar. I guess he doesn't. He wants a little more power power than a Thunderbolt. But he actually misses. But then I miss with Stone Edge, and he gets all the Thunder, so it's really a moot point. As he doesn't see, he doesn't quite kill me, and he doesn't activate my Focus Sash, which is odd. But I go Stone Edge, and now I activate his, and he finishes me off the Shadow Ball. And Aerodactyl goes down, and... There's nothing I can do about that. So I go into Sizor, and I decide to finish off with Bullet Punch, knowing he can't really switch it in again because of the Stealth Rocks anyway. So he just lets it die, which is the good move for him. So now he goes into Infernape. And I'm not going to stay in against Infernape. And I go into Heat Ran. And he goes Flamethrower, and I get the Flash Fire, which is incredibly awesome. And I just go with the Earth Power, since I know that will kill the Infernape. He doesn't switch out, but um, I guess he didn't know it was Scarfed. But now he does know it's Scarfed. <laughs> so he's thinking about who he wants to switch in. And he eventually goes into Blastoise. And that's a pretty good switch, because I can't kill that with Earth Power, and that can pretty much oh, one-hit KO Heat Ran if it wanted to. So he goes with the Hydro Pump as I go into Celebi, and I don't take a whole lot of damage from that, obviously. And here I'm going to go for the Leech Seed, um, just because I'm predicting a switch, kind of. And if I not, you know, I still leech the Blastoise, which is nice. And he goes in a Weavile, and I get the leech on the Weavile, and that's pretty cool. And I know Celebi is a defensive wall, but, you know, I still don't want to stay in here, so I go into Sizor as he goes for the Night Slash. And that's not going to do a whole lot to Sizor. Sizor resists both Dark and Ice, two moves that he'd probably be using against um, the Celebi. So that's why I decide to go into Sizor. Now he actually stays in, which kind of surprised me. But I went for the U-turn, and that kills Weavile anyway. But um, he does go with the Brick Break, and that does some damage to Sizor. So now I go into Luke. And he's thinking about what he wants to go into. And he eventually goes into Jolteon. And, um, I'm not going to be able to stay in. But, um, I decide I want to try to stay in and Sword Stance. See what he's going to do. think I can take one T-Bolt. But I do get paralyzed because he T-Waves me. And that's life. So he goes to the Thunder. As I switch into Celebi. And that doesn't do anything to Celebi. Pretty obviously. So he T-waves the Celebi, but see, Celebi just doesn't care about being Thunder-waved, mostly because of Natural Cure and the fact that he doesn't have a whole lot of speed anyway, so he's not going to outspeed a whole lot. But he has the Shadow Ball, but um, that does a little bit, but not a whole lot, because um, Jolteon doesn't have that stabbed, and Celebi, of course, has a Calm Mind now. So he's not going to be able to do a whole lot with Shadow Ball to me. But he keeps going for it. I guess that's pretty much his best play at this point. And I'm just going to use the Psychic, which almost KOs. And then after the um, Leech Sheet, it does KO. So Celebi is a friggin' monster. I love Celebi.
So now he goes into Crobat. And, um... He goes with the x Scissor, which I'm highly surprised I survived, considering Celebi X4 weaknesses against it. And I'm able to get the KO with Psychic. But, you know, that's Celebi for you. He just likes to survive hits that he shouldn't. But, um... Now he decides to go back into Blastoise. And I'm going to be able to explode in his face with Heat Ranch. That's the game. Today's question of the day is, what is your favorite gift to get from somebody? And what was your favorite gift of all time? Um, my favorite gift was probably a pillowcase my girlfriend got for me. And it has our picture on it. And it's just really, it was really great. I really loved it. And of course, I always enjoy getting Serpent Night Dragons as gifts. But anyway, good game. And rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Also, if you'll excuse the blatant advertising, um, I'd like to draw your attention to the Pojo forums, which can be found at pojo.biz. Um, it's really a great forum. It's not as quite as big as Maryland, Cerebi, Smogan, but there are competitive battles there. We have a tutor-apprentice system, as well as a battle ladder. Tons of people to trade and battle with. Check it out if you're looking for a forum so you can battle people on. Um, it's really a great place.